Just because you're silent doesn't mean I have to shut up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're now locked into another episode of Destiny's a podcast hosted by yours truly, me and Sophia. And yours too. Yes, guys, welcome to another episode. Hope you guys are doing well, going and getting on with the days. The weather is getting better, sun is out, moods up on the rise. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, my fun fact for today is that there are technically no muscles in your fingers. Their function is controlled by the muscles in your palms and ar- and arms. So your fingers are practically just bones. There's actually no muscles in there at all. It's funny because there was a video of this guy where he was moving like his brain and he wasn't connecting to anything. And what do you mean? Like... His whole, I don't know how to explain it, but his whole finger was here and he was moving the bone inside just doing this, but it was not connected. So there's like a little gap. So let's say this is my nose here and there's a gap here, but it's my Was bone. it open? Or was it no, it's close. And it was just out right here moving it. And it's funny you said that because we was at, I think Timmy showed me the video. So yeah. he showed me and the guy was just doing this and he was moving everything. In. And we looked at it today and we were like, there's nothing in there. So it's funny because we were thinking... It's just, it's just bone. Yeah. There's no muscle there. But his bone doesn't connect to the top part, so it's like he stops like a third part and he was just there yeah, and no, he was just moving everything. Yeah, a lot of it, the top bit is a lot of it. It's just... <laughs> yeah, but... It's fat. I get what you I mean. Meant, I'll tell like that. I get what you mean, but each one was weird. To the top, he was just there and he was moving it and you could just see yeah. the whole thing moving nasty. I've seen someone's top of the finger be chopped off. Uh, he was a butcher's and I saw him telling me. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get him. I thought you meant when you were getting food. I was about to no, say no, stop no, no, it. No. And you didn't see no bone. It was just, it was still like... It's still... Abs, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit of a, yeah. <laughs> Um, Riddle from last week's episode is I just had it Okay She takes something long and hard inside me And see me get bigger until the job is done What am I? I don't know You didn't get it A tent mm. You get it mm. um, Riddle from this week's episode Riddle for this week's episode is Women can, can't get enough of me And I rhyme with socks What, what am I? I really suck. What am I? Anyways, you know what to do. Um, send in your answers. Let us know what you think the answer is. If not, participate when we put the riddle up and we'll let you know what the answer is by doing that. So, yeah. On that note, how have you been enjoying the weather? I'm still trying to find the answer to the riddle. Is it? You weren't going to get it. You have to wait. Lately, you ain't been doing so great. You just have to find that same time as everyone else. You ain't been doing too great with it. You may like it. Mm. I don't know. Like I said, find out with everyone else. Because at this point, you have to be taking part in the word or sending your answers as well. <laughs> um. Anyway, I've got a business. Pro- I've got a business plan that you can look into. Go on. I saw a video. I saw a picture of a girl who had the sunscreen. On her face, well, obviously, on like darker skin, it's just it just goes. But not even darker skin in general. The the good sunscreen is just make your skin white. Mm-hmm. So I think you should you should you know invest and try and make a sunscreen that's suitable for all skin. But you said oh all skin. T- well, yeah. the technically the because the ones you were given by six the six hundred mm-hmm. different type of skin. <laughs> <laughs> sunscreens that you were given by the dermatologist and each and every single one just made you look I even have a spare one at home for you <laughs> just made you look completely white even no, me, you, you sent me that. you sent me there was a black one you sent me I got that one and actually it oh, did one. one you sent me a black woman's one where um because I think I'd been complaining that whole holiday and then you just come across it and then you like look and I was like, okay, yeah, but I feel like it's, a, it's definitely a market I could be tapped into. Yeah, but with that one, it's a thing where if it works for my skin, I feel like it works for anyone's skin. It wouldn't be white residue. No, yeah, but I'm saying it's a market that you can, you know, you can tap 100%, into. Hundred percent. But it's funny you say that because, like, I came across another one in Audi for free prime. Great sunscreen. I'm just thinking, where have you been all my life? But yeah, it is very limited. I hear what you're talking about. But where the hell do I start? 
Gotta look into the chemicals. Yeah, go and uh, go and think dirty. Are you not watching? Have you not been seeing um Nala's baby? No. And how they all went with Krypton and Sasha. How they started this this um different like something that you can. I'm sorry. How they found you have to create it basically a. a skincare line type thing for like children but they can be using adults and they said there was an app called Think Dirty that it shows you how much chemicals in a product mm-hmm. is yeah, around I'm have to look into it I'm, no, you should, you should. I'm just saying it's, no, it's, you can tap into it 100% I got no reason not to tap because into it because a lot of people tell you that every time they wear sunscreen it's just wet yeah sweet sunscreen. Um, I was on the phone to someone they come in they were like how did you get burnt last time? I said, it's not that. How I did you get what? Burnt last on our last holiday, innit? When we get burnt on the last day. I was like, we were fine the whole day. We just decided to sit in the sun on the last day and forgot to top up. And we just sat there for time. We, even, in, the, in the jacuzzi. Yeah. And we just, even after that, we went back, we ate and came back and just sat in the pool in the mid full blooming sun, just sitting there and we didn't top up nothing. I was like, of course we're going to get back burnt. I was like, that's not the case. Because even when I was telling my dad today, I was like, oh, um, I got this like sunscreen, you should try it. My dad said, for what? Do I look yeah, like someone that's that the problem? <laughs> black people think, especially the darker, the, darker the, though, black person been is, nowhere. the darker the black person is, the less likely they think they can get burnt. Yeah. And although the the protection you have from the sun increases the darker your skin is it does not stop you from getting burnt yeah but I, I can tell you I can tell you I can tell you for sure that a dark skinned person can get just as much it of a heat been, stroke as anyone else it ain't been, in the sun. It ain't been nowhere like the only place it's been to is Nigeria and Italy but even in Nigeria it doesn't get burnt for nothing so I get where it's coming from because he goes there often and my man will what's the sunscreen does he's never used a sunscreen in his life he ain't yeah, about to start it, after 60 years. No, but being burnt doesn't have to just pop up as it looks red or when you touch it, it hurts. You can get burnt without even knowing. No, I know. I, so I've I'm sure your dad's pressure. been burnt. Who, to him, it's his fix, it's his I'm normal sure, skin. I'm sure he's been burnt. He just doesn't know it. He wouldn't know it. But that, he, was, he was not even trying to hear. Except for what, what, what am I looking for sunscreen for? But yeah, I guess we'll look into it, innit? Because I think dermatologists need to look into it apart, especially if they're recommending things for people to buy. Not you can't recommend the same thing for everyone. It has to be something different. Can't hear me. No. Um. Yeah, we have to understand majority of dermatologists are white, so they're only going to. My dermatologist is an Asian man. He should. He should yeah. understand. <laughs> I think I have I've had three two two of them has been one's like she ain't even white she's just them Hispanic she's got a nice skin nice little and the other one's a white woman that was fully white I didn't even bother with that one and the other one the new one I have now is an Indian man so it's just yeah, like but yeah. you have to understand they all learn from the same curriculum which was developed for the white the white skin innit fair enough that's why now that's what only comes to now even at work we have to like we see pressure ulcers and stuff um, and there's something we call a suspected deep tissue injury the what? Sus- suspected deep tissue mm-hmm. injury big big words and on a white on a, on a fair skin person a lighter skin person you can see the injury quite well mm-hmm. but on a dark what kind skin, of injury is it? it's just for pressure so when you just put a lot of pressure just like it oh okay it. <laughs> and on, like, on a fair skin person you can see that it's changing colour like a bruise type colour mm. But on a darker skinned person, you can't really see it. And there is only over the last few years where they've actually brought out policies and pictures of how to identify on a darker skinned person. So when you, when you speak of dermatologists, a lot of this curriculum that we're, we're taught in general is being made for, for, you know, different type of skin than to yours. So, so yeah, I just, I just saw it and I just remember the... When we were at Dubai and you couldn't, you couldn't even put the sunscreen. I could barely even just put the sunscreen about your show and I was so. Listen, and yeah. That was on my vita like of for, for you to still see on you says what it would look like on me. And I think that's that on that one. Like, there's no point even going back and forth on that one. I was just, there's, yeah. But yeah, that is interesting. Okay, look into it. But, um, one thing I will not be doing this summer. Mm. or any other summer <laughs> in my life 
is attending any Insta festivals, <laughs> any festivals run by an Insta account, Instagram account, Wait, or social really media account. DLT is run by Insta. I'm not running anything. I'm not going to that one either. <laughs> Just because it happened once, it's, I'm sure something will I'm happen. Sure yeah. The same way affirmation has happened. Ugh. The same way I'm sure Trace made in Africa happen has happened before. As well. Yeah. I'm sure many of these festivals have run. But I don't care why they just do that. And, it's, and, it's, and, and it doesn't matter, obviously, shit happens, isn't it? So it's like a festival can, it, it, it can happen at this one. Um, the, the Trace made in Africa, yes, the partnership that they had, they pulled out, causing everything to happen. But I don't know, it's like, if she have seen this coming before me having to book in, do all this booking and now I can't, you know, Get any sort of refund. I think what annoyed me more is the fact that you cancelled seven days before or even less than that and it's a thing where yeah you're apologetic about it but what does that mean because you didn't give people enough chances to either try to reschedule the holiday for something else or try to do something else especially like there's going to be bare people out there doing nothing bare people because they literally they cancelled it like Less than yeah. less than a week. It's, it's, it's one of them things you have to have as a business person. You have to have a backup. You can't just be like, yeah, this is what I have and this is what I'm gonna go with because things can anything can spell. happen. Yeah. So you have to have a backup, and you can't just go in blindly with one partnership or one sponsorship with the thing. That's why people have several different sponsorships. If one pulls out, they can continue going. It's inconvenient, well, yeah, because now you have a bunch of black people <laughs> in the middle of Port Portugal. <laughs> there's nothing to do in that in that city. Mm. Just trying to find something, and and they they've gone and cancelled all the parties that they were doing. Because mm. even that that was at least something. something yeah, and that was at least something that you could do. Yeah, because I tried looking for it and I couldn't see any of like I was just like, oh, stop it. Yeah, there's at least something you can do, and it's not like Porto is not like Lisbon or Algarve. It's not a, like a party lively place city. yeah so it's very quiet so now you're gonna now you're just gonna be walking around and people are just looking yeah. into people's faces i'm sure a lot of people just end up just taking it on canceling the holiday yeah but or maybe just going to a different place i don't know because my thing is with people that booked with them and like if you if you booked your hotel with them you can technically claim for a refund for everything but if you a bought it separately you can do 24-hour cancellation you know? i think the only time the, the biggest L a lot of people would take is the flights yeah no I've learnt my lesson no. I've been said since affirmation even this one I was in TK but I said you know what let's go mm. I've been said since like you said when you said let's go affirmation I'm not doing affirmation yeah. even if it runs smooth for the next 10 years I'm not doing affirmation <laughs> because the last time they stopped grant, granted it was with Covid but the way they, they handled refund, everything no, they didn't refund anyone they yeah said, the way they oh, handled you everything can, you can use this ticket for next year I, would, I don't want to go this is this is what I said with this one when they get I said we told you I'll be available to go next year we told you that date no, but, the no, date should be convenient they, for they, me they, they gave the option of a refund, refund yeah which affirmation for. didn't give no option of a refund mm. they stopped answering people's emails <laughs> they weren't trying affirmation said F you lot no they said you can use the ticket next year and as soon as I saw the way they handled that I said me and Instagram led for um festivals, it's not happening. No, unless so unless I plan to go to that country we got unless it's like a country where outside of the festival I can enjoy, enjoy it. Yeah. So it's like if, if we went to the DLT branch, I would have enjoyed more, more time regardless, regardless yeah. of whether we at the branch happen or but it's if it's in like Greece or in Barbados or something. Yeah, it's such a damn shame because it's always the like the African kind of yeah. thing because if you think about the white festival you don't ever hear all this and you don't ever hear well, there's no refund um, various sponsorships and partners in, in this whole thing this one only had one partner and no, that one partner pulled out shambles. and then that's it you've left I feel like there was you know what I think is I feel like there was more to it because my thing is you would have been known that the partner especially if it's something where you've been going back and forth they can't just decide I'm going to wake up to them pull don't out. Know. maybe that's what happened maybe that's what happened but if you had other people in involved in the whole thing, them pulling out wasn't gonna do anything. But someone said, uh, um, which might be true, they had they just had very low ticket sales, which meant that obviously they couldn't pay the artists and just made up a yeah, story. But and would you them. not? Would you still not have to pay artists regardless? Especially if they were, you would have had to pay them some kind of deposit for you to ske- um, schedule you them. No, no, not necessarily. 
because the artist they had wasn't exactly huge big artists they had some asking. all right ones yeah but i don't think they're the ones where like if you have a beyonce coming along <laughs> I'm sure she knows that's a whole different I'm sure she knows game. a lot of these artists like they're they're, they're probably gonna get paid decent money but it's like listen it's a gig i can go to mm. i'm gonna go to they're promising this me this money so i'm gonna go to it for this money i thought about it being tickets as well but then when i went like before i even booked our ticket some of the tickets were sold out so I was a bit confused as to, and they were like releasing ticket like you don't think they bits do this, and bobs. You don't think they do this so that to make the 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 festival the like, show yeah be more appeasing and more what's it more what's the word like just have a higher demand for it. Mm. So if if you know that something is sold out, you're like okay, right, that yeah. place is probably gonna pop. Yeah. Like how when they go to there, so they're gonna be like. Uh, we've been told, quote, quote unquote, mm-hmm. we see that a lot of people are asking for more tickets. We're going to sell more tickets. Here's, mm-hmm. another, here's a final release of tickets at this price. So they're just saying the tickets, they they told us they sold, but they've just sold at a higher price, making it feel like it was... Doing that's something. How they did it. That's, that's, that's good. That's marketing. That's marketing. I don't blame them. Because now, now they've sold a ticket that was supposed to be for, let's say, £6. They've sold it for 20 now. Because you think that's in high demand. Mons, yeah. When really in truth, they just told you that it was sold out when it was never sold out. <laughs> and it's like, and, and who knows? Because they don't like to give no explanation except from the partners. Yeah, it's always dumb stuff. And like, it's, it's always. And it's having insurance with that. It should be. <coughs> Some sort of backup. Let's not even talk about insurance because like I was even thinking why our oh, wireless thing is for next week and no one's going back to me about it. I was just like, oh, stop Has it. Has no one bought a ticket? Nah, because I went to check on... Uh, to there's check wireless it. tickets for <laughs> the 3rd of July. Yeah. Yes, we have two wireless tickets for the 3rd of July at... Crystal, in, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Um, so, guys, if you want, we're selling it normal retail price. No it extras. Not yeah. No added fees. No hidden fees. No administration <laughs> fees. I don't. We don't want no problem. We just want to get out. Um, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, <laughs> the partnership, the partnership's been pulled out. <laughs> unfortunately, the partnership has it's been, been pulled, pulled out. out. And we could not make it. We cannot make it. We cannot pay for the the artist. Um, yeah. So the fellow July, fellow vibe. <laughs> go to go to wireless festival. You know, we got two tickets there for you. Yeah, my my have to post on know. socials as well. Yeah, just let us know and we get transferred to you ASAP, ASAP with quickness. ASAP. Name changed. You send the money. You send the tickets. And it's straight bank tra- transfer, no PayPal's or cash. Yeah, yeah, cash yeah. Or anything. You send the money as quickly as you want the ticket. Yeah. And that's just that. Yeah, yeah. There's no fiddly fadly. See, you were the quick ticket with will it. be sent. Don't worry. <laughs> You send the money in two seconds, no ticket will be there in one second. Yeah, there's no scamming. <laughs> but, yeah. So, be careful, guys. Like, It's kind of weird because you get into that stage where you want to do that first of all things and now I'm like, I can't book it because you lot will move I'm mad. You lot, I can't trust you lot because... It's not by force because I was really... Because the, the only reason I wanted this festival was because it's like a proper concert yeah. type situation. Like the, the DLT branch is just basically... Vibes. Vibes and party. A, a day party taken to Malta. Yeah, for, vibes for and party, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Mm. And it's like... Uh, it's like it's just basically another London in, in Jam- it, it, it is it is and you had one or two performances and that's about it um and that's all fun and games like if you want to do it do that but I wanted the one we were going we were supposed to go to today um it was supposed to be like a proper concert mm-hmm. like a like a Afro, like an Afro nation basically yeah. a proper concert you go out you enjoy the concert like a wireless concert come get your ticket yeah so and that's what we're supposed to enjoy. We're rolling out concert, whatever, mm-hmm. and obviously that that's no longer happening. Yeah, because this is I feel like this was like a this is the reason they won't sell it because it makes no sense because this would have been like a warm up before affirmation because affirmation is next weekend. So I was thinking that's probably one of the reasons why I think it wouldn't have sold much either. 
And the way they've mm. done it is just like it's back to back. And because people still have ticket from Afro Nation, they're going to go come buy another one when they still have ticket from about how many years ago, trying to use it and get the benefit of it. But they had like pop up people really promoting it. Yeah. Though. So maybe there was maybe there is a genuine reason because it, like I saw a lot of promotion towards it. Um, I hope they're still coming. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. I money, hope money's still long coming. on that side. They they just like yeah, but e- but on. even then, if people are still coming just for vibes, I like, can't lie to you. If 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 even just going, if it wasn't poor because I just want to get away. That's I'll, exactly I mean, what I, I said. I would have cancelled the hotel because yeah. hotel usually have twenty four hour free cancellation, mm-hmm. and I've we'll taken it out. Yeah. I've taken it on the flights. I would have taken it on the flights out. It's only about a hundred, mm-hmm. a hundred and something. To be hours. honest, see, the event was just a bonus because I wanted to go away just finishing uni. I was just like, I just need a break. And I was like, yeah, like I can't spend so many time. I even went, I even started looking into like um, Lisbon, and I was like, only if we could change to Lisbon because we had no I point going really to, yeah, no, I know, but I was like, because we have no business going to Porto anymore because obviously the main reason we're going ain't it's kind of pointless, and it's just yeah, it's an L, it's an L yeah, that I will not be taking again. Don't don't believe the hype. You see people going out there and enjoying it. Bro. Don't use your money to buy tickets. People offer take it. Don't use your money. At least you know if you're getting refund, let them deal with it. It's, it's... <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we're gonna make the most of it anyway. Yeah, people. Are... We're trying to live that soft life, but they don't want us to. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Jesus said no, no soft life. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a TikTok um, influencer guy here, and then apparently he got recognised by one of the females, so he was just going to go in and just give a normal hug, (laughs) and the girl was like, no, no, don't give a hug, my boyfriend is there, and he was like, so? It's not like I'm trying to kiss you, Mm. and the guy was like, no, it's not that kind of a vibe. (laughs) So you went and I like, said to to the um, Maya guy, the TikTok guy was like, no, it's not that kind of vibe. She's saying hi, she's saying hi. Don't give her a hug. Mm. And then he went and TikTok was like, why are men so bloody insecure? <laughs> How can I just want to give a hug to say thank you for recognizing me? And he said, no, don't give her a hug. And I just thought that is weird. Like imagine going out and your partner's telling you you and not to give a hug to even just being a friend. Or, like, just showing, even if it's just a little cheeky side hug and, like, just showing some kind mm. of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Appreciation. Yeah. And he's like, don't, kind of, don't touch her. I just think that's a bit mad. Like, that's a bit, is it, what's the word I'm looking for? Brain stop, actually, but Terry. What's the word? Begins with a T. Oh, but yeah, I feel like it's marking his territory. But I was just like, yeah, what? Just to say thank you. Yeah, you can just say thank you by saying thank you. Why must? You yeah, but the me? way the energy you came across is like. I don't understand why she the was first just like, sign of saying thank you, you have to give someone a hug. It's just a common instinct. Not everyone's like you and don't like being touched. Not <laughs> necessarily. Com- if 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 you happen to go past someone, you do, they like let's say they did something nice to you while you're walking, and they go and try to hug you to say thank you. You're gonna be like. <laughs> it depends because it's Relax. not it's not even even if it's just a because uh, with the energy it came with apparently she went with a group so everyone's like oh hey nice to meet and she's like he's kind of made his way around or something like that so it's come to and he was like don't do it she's like no don't and he was like oh why kind of cut him off guard because he would just go around so for you to say no is like okay because well, he hugged everyone else he must be able to hug you too no but it's not even a that thing is just me saying I'm making my way around. It's like nah, and my boyfriend would have liked that. And he looked up and was like, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but it's not even do it, the, do if you don't like a hug, that's fair enough. But it's more of why is it because of your boyfriend can't make you hug? It just made me a thing where I don't think my boyfriend will be able to tell me you not to hug because that's a bit mad to me. Because why we going to that stage where you're like I can't hug someone just to even say hi or even just to say oh I like what you doing or it's like saying thank you in a way you came up to me you're telling me I like your content and like, oh thank you look <laughs> just gonna hug just hug and just run, run and say the same thing you could just say thank you you know how many strangers you hug in this world but what for you don't hug strangers what for just in general what for anything 
In case you'd be like, it's a, it's a common gesture. Oh, thank you. Even it's if it's just a... It's just If I don't know you... Okay, cool. You do something... You're at work. You do something someone deems nice and then just come over the counter to hug you to say thank Why you. Why are you arguing? Exactly. <laughs> it's not a common gesture. Say thank you for far. It's, it's a common gesture if you know the person. Maybe if the customer you've, you've seen about bare times, they always come. And this time they're like, you know what? And even then, we've come to an age where... We've come to the time we're asking for consent, bro. Nah, with COVID as well, yeah. How can I give you a hug to say thank you? Then you'd be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, just because just you're making rounds and everyone else is hugging you, you can't then just assume that I'm the last person you're going to try and hug is that. I mean, I get it called the boyfriend says so he doesn't want to be hugged, doesn't want you to hug the girl. Um, but you don't know what's going on behind that. Like, she, could, she could have done something mad in the past and he's just there like, nah. Yeah, but then if that's the case, then now my man's old and grudges from the past. Not necessarily, because if a guy cheated on you, you're not going to trust him 100% ever again in your life. I'm not going to I don't think I would still be with you, but yeah, cool. You never know the situation. You have, you, you had two, three kids with him. <laughs> it's the first time they've ever done it, and you feel like, you know what, I'm going I'm to try and, I'm going to try and, I'm going to solve this. You're never going to trust the guy 100%. So it's easy to say, oh yeah, then why is he holding a grudge? You're going to be holding a grudge as well. I mean, debatable. Mm. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I'm trying to see. Yeah, but, but then... Because she could tell, she could do the same thing. She could do the same thing. If a girl then turns around and says, I don't want a man hugging another girl, nine times out of ten, a girl's not going to say that she's controlling. She's gonna say yes. Yeah, she's always right to say that she doesn't want her man to hug another girl. No, but a lot of the time when the guys say the same thing, we always tend to oh yeah, he's he's no. But if the girl says well, it will come across controlling. Like it's just I feel it's not a thing where it's not, um one sided. It's not the same thing for the guy and girl. Like not necessarily more time, more time girls when girls do something, the guys do. Girls are just like yeah, she can say that. Like guys, can now guys, I find out where it's like going out with my man. I'm like you can't hug that person. Or you can't hug females, it makes no sense. So, what I expect you to go hug all your men, though. You can do if you want to, but I wouldn't stop you from hugging a no, female. No, listen to what I'm saying. Go on. I'm saying this when f- women, they are double standard women because the same way a lot of women will say that the guy is controlling, we, I don't think I've ever heard another girl call another girl controlling for the action she's stopped the guy from doing. Mm-hmm. I've never heard that word come out of a woman's mouth for another woman. Mm-hmm. I hear where you're coming from, yeah, because... But when it it comes to the guys, the first thing you think of is controlling. Would you say men are more controlling than women? I don't... I feel like the same way a man does something, a woman does the same thing. I couldn't say... I couldn't give you if one is more than the other because I haven't... You know, you don't know anyone... When people like to say one's more than the other, you can't say that because you don't know everyone in the world. Yeah, but based within what you know of what I you've been around, or what. That. I don't, I don't know. I don't really be around controlling people. Fair enough. So I hear it. So he could be controlling there, but it's not like people talking. TV. Oh. But who knows? Who knows? Yes, and you no. could be insecure, but this is a man. When men are single, when girls are single, they like to speak of other people's situation. But I'm sure when it comes to their own situation, there's going to be a point where you're going to be like, "Nah, I don't really want her doing that, or I don't want him doing that." No, I get it, but like, like you said, I'm looking at it from a outside perspective I don't know the situation yeah, exactly so when you stuff. go on TikTok and then blast it off it's just for content it's just for content 100% that's his just job <laughs> did you not meet, know me through TikTok for did you not know me through TikTok I was just like uh, yeah I hear it I hear it but I just find it funny and a bit because it's like you know when you listen to something from the first jump and you're just like why would you do that like there's no need or that kind of thing it's just like 
you don't try and look at the inside. You're just looking off the surface of what you've been given and the information you've been given, and you're just like, yeah, that's and a bit the first weird. Thing you just assume, yeah, yeah it's, it's just a bit. I just the first thing I just said is that's a bit weird. Like, why would you stop her from hugging? And the fact that he looked up at you and you're like, yeah, don't do it. <laughs> and he was like, okay. He didn't even try to fight. He just said, okay. Even when the female said it, he, I think he was just like a bit confused. I don't think he even asked why. I think he just looked at her a bit funny. So it's like you saying, and I just look at you like this. And he was like, and then he well, if I tell him, I said, I, I don't want to hug you because my man's here. Yeah. So that could be out of respect, I think. Yeah. We are supposed to be a witch. He, came, he was like, yeah. Because she said my man wouldn't like it. Yeah. The same way if a woman doesn't like it when he's when her um her her man is on the Instagram liking all types of pictures. Yeah, it's but no they they they'd be about, they'd be reckless with it. They'd just be out here tapping fingers. It doesn't matter, they're just tapping a picture. The same way I'll be scrolling for Instagram and I'm just tapping everything just for the sake of Would you still would you like. carry on doing that if you're in a relationship? Just for the sake I just, I don't know if you understand. I scroll for Instagram and I just tap just for the sake of giving that person a like there's some content what? and there's something that I don't even care for I don't even look at it twice and I tap it but what if you, your partner don't know that's what you do and they're like no, oh, but, yeah, no but, that's, that's, but that's but that's what I'm saying um, the same way he's said it now it doesn't have to be a, a, out of insecurity because mm-hmm. when I'm doing something I don't I'm not thinking twice about it innit mm-hmm. you just did her own yeah, as long as she's not getting beat up <laughs> Mentally or physically, you know, because I'm sure there's something he she was turned around to and said to him, yeah. I mean, I don't do listen, that. I ain't hugging no man. If my man paid for me to be on DLT, because <laughs> this is June DLT. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they were out at DLT in um, I think one of the. <laughs> and it's even worse. It's the, it's the man out there is just reckless. <laughs> listen, I'm not hugging. Cause Cause I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. Outside of insecurity, if I'm just, if I'm just there, out of festival like that or whatever it is and just because someone is somewhat famous on TikTok and to say the girl the girl just goes and, and just tries hugs to hug my man. I'm just like because it's not like he's gonna send and hug the guy ever. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know what? It's not like he's gonna wait oh yeah, yeah but the guy the guy the guy's not acknowledging him. He's only hugging the person that acknowledged him. Yeah but still he's still he's still part of yeah he should acknowledge the whole situation. If a girl just comes in and hugs the guy and be like, oh, oh thank you. Like, bro, where is <laughs> What's going on here, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just, it, we all speak of a situation that we're not in. Yeah. That's why I love this world. We're free to have an opinion about anything and everything. And not everyone's and always going to agree. Yeah, that yeah. we're not in. <laughs> that we're not in. Because the same way he's talking about a situation, I'm sure... If he was ever in that situation, I don't know whether he would think a, a twice about oh, it or yeah. he let go. But I, but I know at the back of the head, he would have said something to himself. Maybe not out loud. Maybe he's not that type of person to say it out loud. Yeah, yeah. But at the back of the head, he's thinking, why is my man touching my girl? Mm-hmm. He can say thank you, but just thank you. And I think everyone, everyone will have that little thought at the back of the head. But then some people either say it out loud mm-hmm. like he did, yeah. act on it, or others will just be like, even if it's just a jokey thing at the back of your head, say it and then just leave it. Because I will have it in the back. I can't, I'll have it in the back of my head. I'm like, who's this girl? She ain't no Beyonce. She ain't famous <laughs> like that for him to be saying, for her to be saying, thank you for your support. <laughs> what are you supporting? So it's like that, but then it's not, it's not one of those where I'll, I'll ruin the day and pull it up or be yeah. like, like to the girl, don't touch Especially me. Especially for away. Yeah, don't touch me. That's my mind. I'll just probably, by, by the time we get to the hotel, I'll just take the piss out of the situation. Make but it banter. I hope, I hope the hug is very nice. I hope you're supporting yeah, very well. Yeah, but things like that, yeah, can get escalated easily. Especially imagine no, you've been drinking. Not necessarily, not necessarily because I'll say it in a jokey way. Fair enough. It will never be that because it will never be the point where, unless I have had an argument about it before, I'm sure it will never be like that. But yeah, maybe we shouldn't have the idea of we can just hug anyone and everyone. Isn't it? I mean, in mean, this day and age, COVID, COVID's still alive that everyone likes to act like it doesn't exist anymore. But, yeah. But there's, there's speaking of, there's, there's this school, I don't know where, I don't know where, where I think is in Surrey. Um, they have banned any sort of, like, touching. There's you know, The kids are not allowed to shake hands, they're not allowed to hug. What? They're secondary or primary? 
I think it's like high, I think it's secondary high school okay. and secondary the I'm thinking touch. with primary primary ain't listening to you their minds are like, touching they're each to other they like to hug the, each other shake hands and a lot of people that's were interesting be, yeah a lot of people were like <laughs> like they were, the they were kids saying, as well. we were saying this is a part of a natural human being yeah like, when, it, when your friend is upset you want to put your hand mm, yeah your especially kids and sometimes when someone during the sports when someone falls down you want to help them up hand, yeah. yeah and like help them up but even saying, as like, teachers like, I still yeah even as teachers it's hard like even I give one of my students was like miss can I give you a hug I was like yeah come and it's just like that kind of thing where if you were telling me to what I'll be out here giving a hair hug yeah. like, I get to a certain point of degree but with with the adults, if you're saying that to the adults, to the student, I understand. But if you're telling the yeah, student not yeah, to do yeah, it, especially yeah. within that age range, especially like year 11 to year 10, probably will stick to it. But you have the it's year the 7 to year 8. Sticking to it. But if, it isn't much so much if I'm playing a normal know. game of tag, I can't even touch you to play tag at break. Yeah, okay? it's not, they were saying, because they, like, they were debating it, and they were like, it's a natural human occurrence. And like being able to have that, bond with someone through that physical touch or obviously the, the the innocent physical touch it builds like a sense of trust it builds it just builds, bonds. Yeah, it builds yeah. bonds with people and it's like it, it, it allows you to then be able to you know be like okay this is innocent like mm. if someone is able to put their hand over my arm without it being anything yeah or, and it's like, like it just teaches it that you, and it teaches the idea of consent as well like, yeah can i give you a hug yeah can i shake your hand yeah. or can i do something yeah. rather than saying and you can't do it don't touch no yeah. one and you go to the real world and you're like and it kind of it can kind of shut down your emotion sides and like yeah. shut down certain aspects of you that you wouldn't even know get shut yeah, down yeah. because it's like it's weird because even that like one of my students were like just upset crying and I was like can I she's sitting on the floor I was like can I touch you she was like yeah, yeah I said are you as sure as a teacher is different as no I understand that but this is what I'm saying as a teacher is different but as a kid like if I was just her even though I knew even if I didn't ask her she wouldn't have a problem with her because yeah. I have that kind of relationship with her yeah. But I still asked. I was like, can I touch you? Can I lift you up? I said, yes. Yeah. So I picked yeah. her up and was like, do you want a hug? She said, yes. Yeah. So I gave her a hug. But it's a film where if this was just a normal friend, I know none of them, they'll just pick her up and give her yeah, a hug. Yeah, yeah. And that's just common thing. But if it's a film where they can't touch her, it's like, yeah, yeah. I can't just, show yeah. you like, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a film where some hug means different things. Like with her being upset, it's like, I'm comfortable. Comf- comforting thank you comforting you whereas if it's a normal thing of being happy i'm giving you a hug like hugs are different needs and different situations so i feel like you stopping kids especially within the developing age of 11 to 16 to not touch each other mm-hmm. it's weird because their question now is what's your reasoning yeah and I, I, I don't think they had like a proper reasoning because COVID is I don't think it's a proper reasoning but COVID even with COVID yeah kids were cautious about it but they would still touch each other yeah, they, COVID COVID is not proper reasoning because I don't have to touch someone to get COVID, COVID like, yeah. I can some, so these kids can just sneeze and you get put COVID. their hand on the table I've got them spread the bacteria day, put my hand yeah. on the table rub my eye and I've got, got COVID yeah so it's not about the handling and touching I don't no, know it makes but sense, yeah, they, they said it and it's like that's really baffled me because, like, I sit at break. I'm on break, dude. I'm seeing all these kids just run and touch each other up. And it's not even... It's not a thing where they're thinking about it. They're just, let's play tag, let's play... I feel like they're just trying to... I don't know if robotized these kids are, 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 is the word because it's just, like, they're taking everything... Away from them, yeah. Just because, like, when it comes to, like, sports and stuff... This is what I'm about to say. Like about participation. They don't, a lot of schools only, like, winning and losing. Like, everyone... Get nah, some you win and lose now nah, forget that everyone forget that, gets, <laughs> forget that. Yo, they need to know the difference because that's not how work, the yeah, world works exactly. and it's like bro you, you are you are entitling every single child they're gonna think that you know I'm never gonna lose in life like I'm gonna reward I'm gonna be rewarded just for participating just for mm-hmm. doing a mediocre job like mm-hmm. because I ran I decided to walk the 100 meter race I still get a medal for participating so imagine running in a proper race after they come 8th they're like yeah where's my medal excuse yeah, me it's not even that it's like going going, and you're, you're working out or you're building a business or you're doing something and you, and you just do it more mediocre like you just put low effort in and you're expecting a reward, a reward at yeah end. yeah and it's like that's not um, how life works. In this works. capitalistic world, that's not how life works. You <laughs> have be to put in a lot of hard work and be better than but everyone around you thing. and win to get rewarded. That's mm-hmm. how it goes. And this is the thing. If they don't build that in them, they're going to go into a world with, and it's going to yeah, shut them. because they're going to have a lot of bro. entitlement. 
Bro. So you, you need to have the win. Nice, it's kids man. will cry. Kids will cry for losing. <laughs> I, the other day I was watching Junior Master Junior Master Chef, mm. and these kids, no matter how nice you talk to them, they they'll cry because they left. But it's just about words of encouragement and letting them know if you if you try hard, they will yeah. you'll see a difference. If you don't try hard, you're gonna lose. Mm-hmm. That's 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 that's. Period. That's how life's gonna be. That's how life's gonna treat you. And if I and if we treat you like your babies for the rest up until you leave to go college or uni, they're not gonna give you uh uh seventy percent of mediocre work. You're not gonna pass because gonna you, tell you participated. Mm. They're not just gonna give a passing grade because you participated in the assignment. That's not how it works. Mm. And we're just we're, no, we're, we're, no. we're, it's really the childhood. It is really the childhood. Like com- people were, were really, um, what's the word? Characters were built. In yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Whether it's whether whether mm. whether, whether second school chop down your cap, whether they put your, Bro, your confidence went all the way left, or whether it well, increased because it it changes from different year. Like year seven, I've said the story before. Year seven to year eight, I was a whip. Like I didn't, I was a whip. I was a snitch. I was just yeah, I was a teacher's pet. As I got to year nine, I became the devil that no one, no teacher liked me. I couldn't be in certain classes because they just, I just don't listen. Mm. Like I don't even tell you like it's this, <laughs> so. Because, like, um, where I've done my placement now is my old school. I've met some of the teachers now. My maths teacher at the time. Oh, my God, this man hated me. Especially, like, year seven, year eight, didn't mind me, year nine. I just went and left. He hated me. It got to the point that when I first got back, I said hi to this man. He didn't say a word to me. I said, <laughs> from 13 years ago, you're still oh, holding fins. And then it was so bad that I'm working with this guy here. We're walking, going to lunch. I've come out the door. Literally. The guy's a step behind me because he's holding the door. He looked at me, turned his head, looked at the guy and said, you all right? And just looked oh, at me like I wasn't... And I was just thinking, because I'm, I'm just like, you're old in things. That is how many years ago that I couldn't care less for now that it's a you problem. Because even the guy was saying it like, when I first came back, a few of the teachers was tiptoeing around me to be like... And I was like, if you're comparing things of 10 years ago... I, I would have left uni 10 years next year. Yeah. 10 years ago then, boy, I don't know. You lot must think I'm, I don't grow up or you lot think I'm going to come here and act like some kind of whatever. And I was just there like, it makes no sense. But yeah, so as I say, um, year nine, I was that dumb child. Didn't want to be in class. You see them, oh, miss, can I go to toilet? We'll come back from break. I'll be like, oh, sir, can I go to toilet? But you just had a break. I don't care. I want to go to toilet. You can't go. I'll be that one. I will get up, go to toilet, come back and take my bag and wait outside because I know that's what you're about to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I already knew the whole steps and stuff. And then as I got to year 10, year 11, I came down. I was just getting ready for GCSE. It was just more. I had my phases. But with them, if they don't get to have that phase, they won't pick what one they want to follow if that makes mm. sense because mm. if I didn't go through my phase I wouldn't say I want to stick with the way I was in year 10 year 11 through college because I could have gone the way I was in year 9 and go try and do that in college and I learned the hard way mm. but that was not the case because I got to go through that phases and got to go through the whole experience with no limitation so imagine not going through that experience and then now you're even limited it makes no sense to me makes it because it really builds your character it does it does because i was even thinking in the sports aspect of things if we're playing team sports some team sports require me to touch you some team sports require me to actually touch you make it make sense like it makes no sense i don't know i mean i I don't i don't think it would i think they're trying to get like the local counts or whatever i don't think they will agree to it to like give me a genuine reason why we need to have this role and if you can get me give me an outstanding reason excuse me then fine Mm -hmm. we can consider it but if it's just something rubbish small like not rubbish but like COVID like let's let's not let's not get ourselves but yeah I just I just find that interesting no that is very because there's with that topic itself, there's different ways you can go about it and, like, just try and sit different, like, like... Mm-hmm. But I, the one way I know for a fact I can say is I definitely need not Finance should be a thing. I think they should be taught from your seven personally. Because mm. no one, like... I was thinking... I don't know, randomly. I was just thinking, if someone actually taught me about the whole process of saving 
finance what i can do with it from a young age i think i would be not saying i'm not in a ghost situation whatever but i just think i would have done a lot more yeah we have to understand when um because i was actually watching there's this guy this finance it's not a finance guy he just teaches he, what's his, he's called um the wall street trapper i think i've heard of him and i was just watching interviews of him today and and he said like and, he, and I've heard this before many a times and he was like if the school is not going to teach you how to make money or how to yeah. file your taxes or how to do this because you know school is made to to program you to do a 9 to 5 yeah. it's made to program for you so that you work for someone else if they're teaching you how to Invest. If they're teaching you how to manage your finances, then you're going to be able to be more independent and not yeah, rely not on the rely, quote yeah. unquote big man. So it's like they will rather keep you in check and be, be able to control you rather than give you the independency for you to go out and, you know, make something of yourself. Because if you start doing that and more people are doing that, people are going to start catching on and there's going to be less people to work for, for you. you. That's 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 and that's a hundred percent why that's not the curriculum because they don't want you to know. <laughs> they don't want you to know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Because because a lot of people I get lot, where it's coming from with that. A lot of people make money because of debt. Yeah. A lot of people make debt, and and debt is not necessarily a bad thing mm. if you work debt correctly. Like um, a lot of these big. A lot of people that have a lot that earn a lot of money. A lot of these millionaires have high, like high, <clears throat> have high amounts of debt. But there's good debt and there's bad debt. Okay. The, the bad debt is where you use it for your luxury, mm-hmm. where you take it out to buy a car, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you take it out to go on a holiday, mm-hmm. where you take it out to buy a nice designer coat or something. Yeah. And then there's the good debt where you use to you know put money into buying a house. But when they do that, they do in a sense where they make the other assets a liability yeah. so that they, they put up another house of like if if I can't pay this, this you can take this one well. yeah so not only is it now tax free mm-hmm. it's like they're just making their assets you know pay for this new one yeah. so they don't have to put any money anywhere so that that debt that they have is just they can use some, something else to pay that off and after that. So it just depends how you're doing it. Instead of using, you know, instead of going to debt to buying little luxury things, they're going to to then buy Bing, stuff that stuff, yeah. they're going to pay in reward. And it's like, that, like it's, you're just not taught this. Yeah. Because if you know this, then there's not going to be any, <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's not going to be any of us coming yeah, as that's the same, it's man, the same it's way like, that... In, at the end of the day, a lot of people like to say, um, we should all be doing this, we should all be striving to do this and to do that. But if, imagine if every single person strived to do something and they all opened up this and they all wanted to do this and they all wanted to work for themselves. There's no one that's going to push your stuff. They're going to work for you. You need to have these people. Mm-hmm. But because you need to have the nine to five, it does not mean they have to be, you know, done with the finances. Mm-hmm. That part of not being able to control finances is then... In the, that's that in a the sense they're able to control you now because you're bad with money so you need to go somewhere so they can give you money mm. and that's when the big man you know when you're asking him for money like okay I'm going to give you £100 but I'm going to put 30% interest on that yeah 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 so now you're going to have to pay it back £130 yeah so they've, they've now made money just because they loaned you money. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you yeah. don't know, you didn't know how to con- how to save up the money you had yeah, before. Back then, yeah. Because you never told how to. You never told how you can put it in here and it starts, you know, increasing the value. You never told that you can invest this instead of putting it in the back. You're just, not, you're not just not taught this. And because you're not taught this, you just assume that, you know what, I want to live some, I want to live luxury today. I want to go out to eat. Yeah. But you don't have the money to go out to eat. You should save that money. Do you? Something you know, else, like yeah. go buy something from the shop to make dinner. Mm, yeah. But we're just told now, like, live a good life, live luxury life. Listen, but yeah. you don't have the funds. But they don't, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care if you don't have the funds. I want to live a good life. No <laughs> funds or no funds. <laughs> and that's the problem. That's the problem. They will, ne- they will never teach it. And that's when, like, as yeah, but even them teaching it, this is what I'm saying, not everyone will pay attention because in school, not everyone wants to know about it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, 
I was, for example, I found um, science quite boring and like the other English lessons quite boring. So my mindset and focus so that's is different. All the time, when you sit there, you're like, you, all you're thinking is, how is this going to apply for my future? I went how thinking is, that in secondary no, school. When you do maths, do you yeah. ask, <laughs> especially the children. What am I going to be Pythagoras in the, in the future? What am I going to need to know about uh, about the the sex organs of a plant in the future? You're not going to need to know that. You're sitting there. You're think. You're, you're thinking. Yeah. When am I ever going to have to read a book and and especially write Shakespeare? <laughs> You're not going to need to. Yeah. You're not going to need to. So that's yeah. why people a lot of people switch off. Yeah. If it's something where you can be like, listen, in future. This is important. Yeah, but the, I Look, get it. Okay, cool. If, even if you're not, even if you're not intrigued about it now, you're gonna learn to it, and then after, when it comes to a point where you need to apply it, you're gonna be like, I know. No, nah, you know how to. Because if yeah. you've learned Pythagoras theorem, as as useful as it is, if you had to apply it today, you're like, you see it, like, okay, I can do it. <laughs> Please. Do you know what I mean? Whatever it is, mm. you'll be like, okay, you know what? I did it. It wasn't useful to me then, it's but useful it's useful now. to me now, mm. and I know where to start. No. And I can then learn more and more and, and more go forward with it. It's like it's like the food techs. Yeah, I love food tech. I, I learned how to make a lasagna in a food tech. Yeah, same. I uh, that's why I learned. I learned to make. I learned to make one. That's why I learned how to make even the cheeky spaghetti bolognese. That's what I was making. Yeah, yeah, exactly, from, yeah. exactly. And it's and it's life Pizza. skills. I learned how to make cookies from there. It's a life skill. Yeah. And it's something where back in back then you didn't need it. Because your parents I just wanted it for food. You were gonna eat at the but end of it. Nowadays, when you when you go back when you go out to uni and have to live in campus, even if I'm eating spaghetti bolognese every single night, <laughs> I'm making I can make spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Make, it. make that with some noodles. If I wasn't taught then, I would never know how to make make it now. And then yeah. as I go with spaghetti bolognese, I can now change it and uh, mix it up. Else, yeah. yeah, make some chicken alfredo. Mix it up a bit. Independence. They don't. They don't want you to have independence. They're just scared because they know what's going to happen. The way people just start taking control. It's the CEO people that are scared because if the CEO, yeah, they know. Because it's not a thing that no one can come from. It's just they know that if people find the right angle to come from them, they'll come from them correctly and just, yeah. Mm. But obviously, everything's changing. Information is so accessible now that... There's no stopping anyone. It's, no, it's you, you against yourself. Like, yeah, you can just learn anything and everything. And, mm. even, and yeah, mm. the times are changing. Yeah, even just a basic go on Google and search up. You get what you need, mate. Mm. And even if you, that one don't give you, look, scroll down one, scroll down another, yeah, scroll we'll down. Keep, sometimes the <laughs> further you go in, the more, more you see. Even the then, more accurate information you get because like, the first, the first few searches, recent ones, is yeah, is the most, is the most used ones. Mm-hmm. But those searches, a lot of the time, it's just full of false information. Yeah. Is the searches where they, is they, they, it's put there for a reason. Mm-hmm. So That's what to grab your eyes. Exactly. Yeah. So you look at it and you're like you think this is the but it's not you have to go deep 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 and I know deep because when I used to do the assignments I used to go deep 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 into now when I went when I went articles. when I went deep into assignment they tell you yeah but your um articles can't be no more than 10 years I used to go 99 something no no, like, no 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 I'm talking about deep they searches the page search is not no. about the years no I used to go back I need I wanted to no. know ins and that mate then they were like nope you can't use that it has to be 10 years in there, there. but yeah it's, it's a weird times it's a weird times and Listen, it's a change and you can just see the change as time goes on as long as you continue doing stuff life don't worry <laughs> It's just inflation. I don't know who's doing stuff like. No, I don't have bruh, money I think and there's more money I'm, being taken care of my account than there is being given. Bruh, to me. I think I went. I bought Petro for the first time again in a minute, and I'm um, there like I turned in. I forgot to look at. Usually I look, but it was I. If I didn't get no, petrol, before, I was not going nowhere. You used to look. I never used to I, look because yeah, because the time is before you no, used to no, go no, there. Let me tell the story. Fill up tank like it's not. I'm like, are you not? Are you mad? No, because you know people. <laughs> people not, used to be like, I'm going on the whole of people London used to be like, cheap, people well. used to be like, oh yeah. I used to see this. I'm just like, what the hell was everyone looking at? Because this is something they need to teach you. You can even. This is 
something I need to teach you into part of your theory because at first I'll be like, what's it's, everyone reading? Uh, yeah, that's it should a good be part point. of your theory. That's a good point. Well, I'm thinking, what's everyone reading? Yeah. That's a good I'm, point. I'm thinking, what's everyone reading? I'm just like, cool. And then you were, you've but done it. was increasing. You didn't, you didn't even know. Bruh. <laughs> and then you've done it one time, yeah, and you've done it. I was like, okay, cool. I was, I was going to ask about something. No, let me, you know, sometimes you want to answer a question, but you don't want to look dumb. <laughs> that's okay. So you just, I said, nah, I'm going to answer something. What the hell? <laughs> Are mm-hmm. people looking for it? Oh no, we yeah, read what is, what, 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 what the hell does it mean? And then you just, I said, nah, explain it again. So the one that has this, because it was not making sense. And I'm just thinking, because I used to just go to the beep in their mind and I was like, I could have killed us. I used to just go beep in their mind. Mm-hmm. And I used to leave it to a thing where I think last time I had like five miles, if I didn't go beep, I was not going nowhere. <laughs> so I went in BP. I just bought, and then the time you were looking, I was like, nah, I need to, you, the time you're looking, I'm thinking, what? She looking at I need to understand what she's looking at and I couldn't put two and two and just something just told me ask her and then you said it ever since then yeah I look exactly everywhere I go exactly. I look. the only one time I forgot to look was when I got petrol recently but I was I was peak I was in the mud my thing was going beep 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 no, no petrol that, nah and it was peak I, and I think I was, it was almost close to 180 I was just like now flipping it's, now it's coming to two yeah, but um, even when it was cheaper, like one twenty, I would still look like that's it. That's one twenty eight, but I know as is one twenty. Yeah, because right Kanisha now. was telling me when we went, we went you or something. Kanisha was like, "Yeah, go get petrol for me." I said, "For why?" This was before Ox. She said, "It's cheap." I said, "What's cheaper? And petrol? Petrol?" <laughs> I said Petra is Petra no but I really think they should put on Fury because I, I, I didn't know it because yeah, with it. numbers being this like I've always seen the number I just thought you're just putting numbers there there was a period of time I even thought it was dates because there was a period it made sense it could be dates it made sense for it to be dates and I was just like why are we putting the date up there everyone could get I was just like nah stop it so I'm sitting there like and I asked my dad one day and then I think he said but it did stick in and then all I used to see on Snap I'm just thinking why is everyone posting this it makes no sense and then of recently ever since you told me it makes sense I was just like because I would have been out there still getting petrol without looking at nothing and you're paying two pound a litre and you're like <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not noticing nothing I'm just thinking why in my, in my head I, w- I would know the only way I would know it would go up is because when I used to get a full tank it used to be 50 yeah, more, that's yeah. the only way I would know it would go up you'd still be confused but like why is this costing yeah me? I wouldn't be able to put two and two together then you, just, see, you end up just forgetting about it yeah, yeah. Move, I move on this is what it is <laughs> <laughs> literally I feel like everything's going up at this point so why can I question this let me go about my business but no it's, listen but it's bad like economically it's everything is you can't even do soft life to enjoy it without checking your bank account everything is mad and it's just you know yeah. apparently checking your bank, bank account too much can cause you something to do with mental health issues I don't check my bank account <laughs> If I check my bank account, you know. <laughs> the only time I check it is because I'm transferring money to someone. Oh. I don't check my bank account. You just pray what, for the best. What am I checking for? What if you go and tap and say beep beep beep? That's when. No, no, but I can't. I can't. I can't buy it. <laughs> what am I? There's nothing. Really, I don't have over. I don't have overdraft on. Yeah, my I account. don't have overdraft. So if I go buy something, and it doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. Like the other <laughs> day, I think it. I ch- I checked my account today. For the other day, because I was sending money somewhere or something like that. Mm-hmm. Not I checked it, obviously when you open it, the the thing is yeah. there, and there was like a little bar that said, um, look to apply for overdraft because we see that one month your account went down to forty three pounds, <laughs> it? So like, okay, cool. Like it went down low. We yeah. want to have more. I said, don't come to me, but no overdraft. I didn't come to ask yeah. you, so don't you offer. See the forty three pound. They are not survived that month. <laughs> That's <laughs> not overdraft. Um, but yeah, I don't check. I don't. I don't check. Like I said, yeah. it's mental health. I don't check. Yeah. Don't check. All I know is nine times out of ten, not even nine times, all the time I've got money in the account. Mm. I've got money in the account, so I don't need to check. <laughs> and if it doesn't go through at the moment, then it will go through at some point. <laughs> it doesn't go through. It's not that stressful. <laughs> more time, more times. The only time, every time it's declined, I won't have money in my account in there. I don't know why it declined. Mm-hmm. I've never, it's never declined. And because there's no money. Yeah. Like I if think, I'm sitting there, it will decline. Bro, and I, I think this, I'm like, I think this, like, oh, I think this the, the last time I checked, I had this. this woman, did, I think this woman was not going to let me go out the petrol station. I went to buy petrol. I would never forget. It happened to me as well. I spent, I, and this time, I usually, I would usually get the other 30 just for the week. I got a full tag that day. I said, yeah, I got the money. I got, I got the beep, beep, the beep, beep, the <laughs> That she said, I'm sorry, you can't go to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm serious. 
I said to her, luckily, I don't know, I think my mom gave me cash to transfer for her. I went to take the cash. I said, we'll sort this when I get home. Gave her the cash and I went about business. I said, I'll do it with my mom later. Because I was thinking, why are we doing yeah, There's yeah. money in this account. I was at Tesco and I put I put money, I put um obviously petrol in the car and there was something going on with the app. My <laughs> car just wasn't, I did it like six, seven times. It wasn't going through the guy. I was like, <laughs> you, you know what's I'm thinking? I'm thinking I have money in my like when I told you I have money in my account, fifty pound or whatever how much the tank was, it's yeah. not gonna take me out, bro. It's yeah. not taking me out. You know what I'm thinking? What happens if you don't have money and you can't pay? What would they tell you? They? <laughs> so I'm there, I'm like I now have to go try and go on my account to then transfer to my monzo. You mean the pay by your monzo, monzo, yeah. And, and he's just watching long. me, he's just watching me like there's got people lining up. At this point I tell the other people go. The land is starting to get longer and then I'm just like, This is embarrassing. It is it's actually so embarrassing because there's money. Be like, there. Do you wanna see the account? There's money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> You know, I feel the same does, but I have money. I have money. No, nah, because especially when you don't expect it. Bro, I, hope you Bro I was going to work that day. I was 10 minutes late because I was trying to pay for one damn petrol. <laughs> it really declined, declined, declined. It declined bad times. And then after, when I went into my car, it just said, bad declined. I'm like, why are you declining? <laughs> Why? Why are we doing this? Nah, it made no sense. And so I, I think it declined because the petrol was so it was high. <laughs> it got it got caught off guard. It's not high. It, it's probably thinking she's never paid so much for petrol in her life. This is not her doing. It's almost <laughs> you got caught off guard, mate. You caught your bank account off guard. How can you pay so much for petrol? But speaking of fraud, the misguided has committed fraud on me. <laughs> I, ordered, I don't know if I want to know. I ordered a dress mm. and two heels. Mm-hmm. But the same heels, two different sizes. Okay, it? just to see. But sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing that lately. Yeah. And I ordered it on the, 27th, the 27th of May. A month later, it still hasn't arrived. And you so chased them up? To, I've tried to go on the website. The website has been down for like weeks now. I went on misguided recently. Yeah, no, now. Okay. But before, it was down for time. So mm-hmm. I couldn't go on it. So I emailed them and they're saying, "Oh yeah, the admin, we're the administration team. We can't, we can't send refunds for for us so, for so we send refunds and stuff like that." I said, "Go back to your debit or card. Or, if you paid with Klarna and stuff, mm, go, go back. back to them. Or if you paid with debit cards. And so with this one, because it's obviously an order where I'm going to return on the shoes. When it's always like that, I just put in the Klarna. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I went back to Klarna. They've paused the the payments and." They're like, in 21 days, we'll get back to you. And if he hasn't, if he hasn't done it, I said, I don't have 21 days to wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't have 21 days to wait. So I tried to now, we've, they don't have like a proper customer service team, but you can like send them a, a message on Twitter. And I've done it before. And I sent them a message on Twitter. To you, like, Misguided. No, misguided. Misguided. Yeah. And they were like, oh yeah, any order that was made before the 16th of June was made with uh, Misguided Limiteds. Meaning that our administration team are not legally <laughs> legally binding to send to wait. I'm sorry. Refund. So what's the new misguided now then? Yeah. So they say therefore any money's owned rank as an un- unsecured claim in the administration. The administrators have advised that they are legally unable to refund unfulfilled orders or accept any refunds for any items you make. You make. And they managed. But I said to them, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hold on. Because of the man. I said, hold on. I don't understand how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made an order. The order was not fulfilled, and now I don't get a refund. Yeah, that means you guys have You're committed acts um, yes. of fraud, <laughs> and that will not be accepted. Did you write that to me? I said that to him. I went. I went to my bank. I raised the dispute on this one, and I said this. this Did you get a refund? There's still more time. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, especially if you've gone to your bank now. Yeah, but I'm gonna put. Don't let that go. No, but yeah. the thing is, it's 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 a clown payment, isn't it? It's not a misguided. So I feel like clown will then go back to misguided, whatever. Regardless, as long as you get your money back, how can they tell you misguided limited? So what are you now? Misguided dot com. <laughs> misguided exclusive. It was with misguided before sixteenth of June. It's misguided limited. What are we now? So it's an unsecured claim. So anything done between, before that is an unsecured they're mad. claim. They're mad. They're telling tell me they're not... They're, they're letting they're Satan use them. They've been legally advised. They're letting the devil back use back. them. I said, hold on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's drunk. They're letting the devil use them. I said, this is actual fraud and it will not be accepted. <laughs> That's what I said. I was going to put this act of fraud and robbery. <laughs> no, technically it is. It's stealing for me. How you, you, you me? bought two shoes, a dress. It's not like £50, pound, bro. Cause it's still money. Cheap. No, no I'm scattered. Bro, one of the jeans I bought from Scattered was like £40. Pound. Bro, the dress was like £20. Pound, or even more than that. 
and the heels of like 15, whatever. And they tried to tell me, you're not giving me a refund for, for, for something you did not send to me. Yeah, they're tapped, they're tapped, they're tapped. No, it's drugs, it's actually drugs. Nah, they're tapped. It's, and, and, on, and on my account, to this day, it just says, preparing order. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like that again in December. <laughs> I actually don't get it. I really don't. Have nah, that's mad, though. And they're able to tell me this with a straight face. <laughs> What you should do is go online, find all the misguided, all the done before then. You lot come to because there's always a group. You have to I'm just not, you know. What? I was checking obviously the, the there's always a group misguided Twitter feed in it. Mm. But maybe I'll go on, on Twitter and see if they've no. Like there's a, always there's I'm always here, always. A lot of people, I'm sure a lot of people are especially people if you've got an Insta. Watching. You see with the back because if I've ordered on the twenty seventh of May, I'm sure at least ten people will the same day. More than ten. <laughs> misguided ain't a small shot. No. That's what I'm saying. Wait, you are you are uh, misguided. Not especially there's a misguided and blue water usually shopping on the regs. You are misguided. Is not a small, it's not a small, It's not a. It's not a. It's not a small shop. You're online. It's, it's like not a pretty little thing. Yeah, you are established. It's not. It's even pretty, misguided was there before pretty little thing. A hundred percent. So you're more established than pretty little thing. So what's your problem? It's not a small shop. They they've been legally advised me to send you money. <laughs> That's okay. the maddest thing I've ever heard okay. in my life. Okay. <laughs> once you once you get once you get. Do you know, you do know how many people? Do you know, do you know how many people they probably owe her own then? If that's the case. One hundred percent from the sixteenth of June. Yeah, but so, so, so everyone before that. Yeah. So anyone who's ordered from probably like when mm-hmm. I ordered in May. So let's say from first of May to sixteenth of June is finished. No one's gonna get the orders, bro. There's, I promise you, there's a clan of them somewhere on social media. Hundred percent. There's a clan of. They can't. It's impossible. There's two hundred tweets already misguided. There's a thousands of people returned items to misguided and didn't receive a single penny of their. That's part of the group. At misguided are now selling those returned items with seventy percent off to profit under any new debt-free company. That shit is surely illegal. Bro, Never in my life would I would have misguided again or whatever the new one is called. Or it's because they've changed it to on Monday. But I was just person. on misguided today. I don't get it. What if they I changed it to? Different, I don't know. You're taking the piss on you. You stole my money and still, <laughs> and still haven't sent my Sound like I, you. I placed over three weeks ago. Sound like you. Never buy there you go. It looks like neither were a lot of other people. We've been... To, to, to our customers who've been quieter than usual so we want to update you on what's been happening misguided? here misguided while trying to build our brand and bring you the product you love we've been faced with challenges on the 30th of May 2020 our former company Misguided Limited went to its administration and Tino were appointed to handle the company's outstanding credit including anything owed to customers for orders placed before this date on the 1st of June 2022, the misguided brand was acquired by uh, Fraser's Group PLC, a world-leading retail group. Fraser's Group have have has an unraveled platform and excellent operations, which will provide strong foundations for the next chapter of misguided. So this doesn't say nothing about... <laughs> <laughs> no, they finessed you. No, I'm getting money back. I should, I should tweet... Everyone put that. Everyone put that they're doing fraud. You should do the. You see the um, the trace when everyone said no communication. We just want a refund. That's the hashtag. We just want a refund. We just want to come and see lights. Because I said that this I knew they were mad. They posted something two minutes in. Because I didn't follow them initially. Then after they cancelled, I started following them just to make sure what? I'm with the trace fi- people thing. I didn't oh, follow them it? on social. And then after he sent me that, I started following them just to keep an eye on things to see what's going on and stuff in it. And then um, I was on the comment, but at this time I was just gonna. I was getting ready to send it. I said, you know what? Let me not be one of them people that was going to send an email. Let me just be patient, whatever, whatever. Then the refund thing came out, did that. But in the comment, yeah, I think they yeah. posted something within two minutes. They'll close the comment because yeah. the comment was going off. Oh, yeah. They were attacking the... They were going off. What? 2.0 affirmation. Like, oh, hashtag for misguided. <laughs> but there's more than enough hashtag for you to jump on because yeah, for really facts, serious. there's other people ridiculous no people need to do better in this day and age with inflation don't be take bro I need people <laughs> to start giving me when I return something no, we, you run me my money back the quicker you take it out of my account that, the clothes that they haven't sent and I've paid for they're just going to sell it again yeah 100% it's and going to it's, it's someone it's else nice dress that I wanted, <laughs> clearly if you didn't want it would you be ordering it I'm not ordering from this guy that ever again in my life no they've lost the customer <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the custom made hair. No, you have. No, it's actually a madness. Oh. I expect more from people. You can't be finessing me when the life is finessing but, me. But if that's the case, I might just call, just go to these people that do 50% off and get scammed there, bro. Bruh. At least I know. At least I know there's a chance to get scammed there. I can't be going to an established, it's proper uh, established, brand, an established shop for you to then tell me you're gonna scam me as well. So I'm just because what's the difference between I'm, you and the scammer? I'm not above scanning now. <laughs> no one's above scanning, scamming even. Misguided scam. <laughs> what's the difference between them and scammer? Just because there's no difference. You send money for product. They you send, don't get they send information to say that it's coming. <laughs> and you don't, you don't get product. Product. Then you try to contact them to get a refund. Yeah, not unavailable. <laughs> no contact information. That's exactly how a scammer works. That's, no, that's how literally. Put, that's how no, literally. Because I remember when um when did I get scammed for? What was I trying to get? I got scammed for something. Airpods. No. Oh. Thank God for Monzo. <laughs> you got the money back straight. I got all my money back. I think I, I got scammed £150. Yeah, same. I don't know what I was getting. I had just like... At first Mine Monzo, was a footlocker order. I, I said, at first Monzo said, from who? Oh, the half price win. Mm. <laughs> at first Monzo said, I'm sorry, we can't do anything because you willingly set the money. Mm-hmm. I tried to do the same thing. I said, no, 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 no. It's just money. Now. A week later, I just see, your money is being... <laughs> I said I love you, Monzo. Yeah. I did the I did the one at a time. One did me one fifty. Someone else did me fifty. I did one fifty. Dealt with that one. Got that one back. I went back. I did the. It, they said you willing. I said go chase them back. Tell me if they sent me products. Well, the, thing is, the thing is, I did that with, with Lloyd, and then Lloyd said that account had already been closed by Monzo. It was a Monzo account. Mm-hmm. Lloyd was like that account's already been been closed, so we can't even get your money back. That's yeah. what they said. No, so if anything to do with Monzo, the minute you start claiming for the Monzo, Monzo don't claim. Monzo will shut your account. Like, yeah, I think. And do you know why I'm, it's scary? I'm sure a lot of people have done that for yeah. their account, and Monzo has seen it and just locked up. And it's scary because Mo- you, there's no Monzo you can walk into. There ain't no Monzo you're calling him because Monzo will not pick up your phone, mm-hmm. and they ain't got time for. But the thing is, when I was saying that, I was like, bro, you are not about to. F-. And then my man is the audacity for me. He blocks me on Snap. <laughs> I said, me. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. I don't know how I've ended up being scammed twice in my life. Me. I've been scammed twice, but that's those two above a story for a different day. It'll be a segment of <laughs> scamming. No, I said, me. You blocked me. And I paid you through my monster. You don't want to bump block you. When I, when I requested, it said, um, my bank called me saying you could miss you. I cannot read message. I did not reply. I said, me. Me that you blocked to tell me I can't get my money back. You know what it said? Bro, the guy popped back up to me when the money was trying to come out. Like, <laughs> off the box, me. Yeah, I'm, me I'm, because I'm, I was. I'm blocking. Bro, I opened it, read it full. You can't reply. You can't. I said, you know, me. You know what you're yeah? I said, you can't reply. I said, me. Me that you blocked two weeks ago. Cheeky. That's my cheeky. I said, you're going to scam me. Me. You're going to try to attack me. me. You're going to try to attack me for trying to get money back. Me. Listen, you can't play, you can't. So when I was trying to ask you to reply to me, you blocked me. When I was telling you where's my product, what were you telling me? <laughs> well, you you left me on red. I tried to find... Oh, no, let me leave it. You left me on red. But I said, what? I went through so much stress. It was, oh. What were you trying to get? The first one was AirPods. I remember that one. <laughs> I remember and the story. The second story. one was, uh, was, was a, a footlocker basket. Oh, no, nah, I didn't know about that one. Yeah, I know your AirPods were on there. AirPods were funny. <laughs> I think that's what made me feel sorry for you to get you one. <laughs> In this life. See, but no, they're just too funny. My in man come life. back to ask me Why if I reported him and I, <laughs> and oh, I get to full you, don't, you think I'm gonna let one fifty's not at that age, I think I was like Yeah, exactly. One fifty's not chicken change. I'm gonna let that go. Six, seven, bro. One fifty is not a chicken change. Oh. Do you know how do you know how many shifts I have to work for that one fifty? Do you know how much Tottenham's paying for to be telling me one fifty? Do you know how many shifts I have to work to get that one fifty? Now you're telling me <laughs> Why, why do you report me if I slap your face me too I slide I opened it left in my red slide open it blocked me again so I said I don't care I got my money back because I don't know why you unblocked me in the first place because after a while they can't obviously get it start yeah investigation yeah and I was just like bro me you blocked yeah, me nowadays no nowadays it's hard and I, I one time some girl as well she finessed me off some trainers <laughs> This time, you know when girls do it it's like to no, me I'm coming to hurt you no yeah this, the, the one I did the full locker one was a girl as well is it but this one um, I was I was there was one point I was selling a lot of my trainers on Depop and I yeah. sold quite a few 
and there was these red air forces that I bought. I only wore a couple of times and I sold it. I think I sold it for like £60. Mm-hmm. And she sent me the money on PayPal. I sent the thing and she reversed the money. The, uh... the, the, the thing. Bro, I was so pissed off. She I took the to piss. I tried to PayPal, PayPal said, can't, there's nothing you can't do, you're not protected. Depop said, there's nothing you can't do, you're not protected. And you didn't know the girl's information? You no, had the girl's... No. Where did you send the Air Force to then? I had the address when I'm going to pull up to her address. I said to her... Where, where did she live? I said, I want to... It was E1, it was Bethany Group. Bro, I'll pull up. Bro, I said, I'm going to tell the police. The police is... I'm not going to lie, I'll pull up to your address. I'll pull up to your address. Oh, I, I had... I, there was one... Because I was thinking, I had definitely have your details. There was one point, I was just like... I'm gonna, it, was just, it was a white girl. Found her on Facebook. Found her on <laughs> family. Did you threaten her? I did. Did she give you back money? No. no. <laughs> this is where you tell her you pull up to her house. When you start I saying like, I was this was like nearly ten years ago. Oh, so you're still young at the time. Where's the house where you pull up to? But well, there was there was this other lady. These people didn't love that people. <laughs> but there's the but the African shirts that I bought. And she wants to ask for a refund. <gasps> the me, one that you bought and then... She, her company was in Stratford. Me and Kanan were about to pull up the... The one you got for me and yeah. then that wasn't fitting. Eventually she refunded me after I... The way I bailed her life. <laughs> no, but why she did it? her number, in it? Yeah. And I, I was on, it was on WhatsApp. I message after message. Because that took a minute. Because it took me a year. No, because you know the refund back through my account. I said, but it's too long. It's been too long. You know, do. you know, I know that took a minute because you got that shirt for me. I think in Dece- I, December. I bought, no, I bought it in November. Yeah, you it gave it to me in to, December, yeah, came, and then I said came to me like towards the end of December. Then it wasn't tight enough. Uh, yeah, I said it was too tight. Came back, came back to me in January. They, they, they delivered to me in January after I told her I hadn't received it. Was in November. They gave it to me in general after I told her six times. I had, it's not, it's probably not. Me. Then mm-hmm. I asked her, can I get a, can I get, like, can I get a change? change? Yeah. She said, yes, you can get a change. Just send me off and tell me what, not, what letter you like. What you want, yeah, yeah. I sent it off. Six months later, it's still not <laughs> Yeah, because I remember, I think I asked her, I said, you get it? She said, please, please, well, please. Like, Give me my money. Where did you even come across her from? Just online? Just online. It's a bit techy, bro. That's what I'm saying. Because online now. It's a bit techy. It's a bit techy. But uh, I've just... I've just so many stories. Be, be, what, with frauds? With frauds. I have a... There was a serious situation, but that, that one's going to be for the Which archive. Which one? Nah, that story is going to be for the archive. <laughs> I'm dying with that story. Why? I'm dying. That's, that, that fraud situation was Serious. You need their money. Yes. Oof, that, 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 that went on for like two years. Yes. Serious situation. But archive. Mm-hmm. Therefore, archive. Is it mad? It was serious. Proper serious. Uh-huh. I learned my lesson big time that time. That's what made you stop everything. <laughs> yeah, but this, I was in like year 10 or year 11. Okay. Like, no. What have you seen this week? Motivational, Christ wise. Uh, I saw two which I find quite interesting because it came back to back which I took a screenshot of yes it goes so my um, my motivation of the day was when life gets harder challenge yourself to get stronger and then the Bible verse of the day said behold God is my salvation I will trust and not be afraid for it yeah the Lord is my strength and song it also has become my salvation and I felt like you kind of just go in hand, hand in hand, as in like, God is your salvation, trust and not be afraid. And that's the same thing with the motivation speech where he said, when life get harder, challenge yourself to get stronger. You challenge yourself because, you know, you got God by yourself. And when life gets harder, God's your salvation. And if you trust in him, life will go back to how it was and become what easy is for you yeah, yeah. in that aspect of things 100% but what have you seen mine is um, it's like it's not really motivational or, or god like it's a positivity today. thing not necessarily it's just a little like a, it's a little quote that I saw mm-hmm. and like it, it resonates with everything it said just because you're silent doesn't mean I have to shut up I hear that because it's like... No, stop. It, that's it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. I hear it. Just it because to, that's you're it. silent doesn't mean I have to shut that's up. That's it. Leave it. Leave it. You don't need to get... Some stuff don't need explanation. You just need to let some it there. Slow. No. Slow. They need to let it there uh, and let them uh, figure it out themselves. It, guys, take it how you take it. So and that's, that's on that. That's my little... That's my Say little it again so they understand. That's my little quote. Just because you're silent does not mean I have to shut up. 
And that's that. Thank you, guys. On that note, the riddle for this week was women can't get enough of me and I rhyme with socks. What am I? A big old cock. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening. This is a podcast, center podcast um, brought to you by Spotify, hosted by yours truly, Nina <laughs> and Sophia. And yours too. Love and guidance. We are.